workers' compensation uh, has moved into the 21st century. What do I mean by that? Fortunately or unfortunately, the cases are controlled by a computer. And the computer kicks out certain dates and notifies the attorneys involved of certain days where the judge who has assigned the case needs to be updated about the progress of a case. So in 90% of the instances, the appearance of my client is not necessary. I would go into court, advise the judge regarding a certain case, whatever it might be, my client is still getting treatment, and so then the judge will adjourn the matter for several weeks or several months, whatever the case may be, depending upon the ongoing treatment. Uh, Sometimes I go to court at the initial conference date. Again, I don't need my client there to discuss the case with the judge, look at the reports, and to try to work towards a resolution of the case. The truth of the matter is, in workers' compensation court, we don't really need our clients to appear with us in court up until the actual hearing date. And unlike personal injury cases, where sometimes the litigant never goes to court, because the, the attorneys are empowered to settle a case just over the telephone, and of course, written documentation. But in workers' compensation, because it is so highly regulated, at some point in time, absent two exceptions, the injured employee will have to appear in court, even if it's to ask the judge to approve a settlement. And the reason for that is very clear. The judge wants to make sure that the employee who's injured is satisfied with the settlement number one, that is waiving his or her right to have a trial, because nobody in workers' compensation wants to be forced to accept a settlement. And the judge wants to talk to that litigant to make sure that the client knows that if they do want to have a hearing, the judge is more than happy to schedule a hearing, to hear the testimony of the injured employee, and to make sure that they are satisfied with the uh, settlement recommendation of the attorney. I've been practicing law for close to 40 years. And fortunately for me, I don't think I've ever had a settlement uh, not go through, even after bringing my client to court. And um, the judges um, do a very thorough job. It's not long. It might only take 15 minutes, but there is a record, a transcription made, and a judge wants to ensure the satisfaction of the injured employee. So the bottom line is how often will uh, my client have to appear in court? At least one time possibly more if it's con- a contested case and the uh, there's testimony. But once my client testifies, they don't really have to appear in court even though other witnesses might be required to testify, such as doctors. Workers' comp court is no different than the other court. It's open to the public. If somebody wants to come and even listen to other cases, they're welcome to do that. And brief, just to, uh, to go back, I've mentioned the two exceptions where maybe somebody doesn't have to appear in court is if they've moved out of state and would be difficult to come back into state. Again, now with with the COVID-19, we've all become accustomed to Zoom hearings. So the judges in that situation will allow somebody to, in lieu of a personal appearance, to maybe we can work through a Zoom conference where the judge does talk to the litigant to make sure that the litigant is satisfied with the settlement. So if somebody has relocated far away and would be difficult to come in, or if somebody has a type of medical condition, uh, which uh, they just can't physically get to court, a judge will uh, let the individual probably either testify over the phone or by a Zoom. And that person obviously would just never actually physically come into court. But absent those two situations, there will usually be a minimum of one court appearance required.